what do our chances of getting this green drop look? Um, I don't know, because there's a big crocodile, then there's another big crocodile, then there's another big crocodile, and then there's several big snakes. Hey guys and gals, Gunshy Moray back with another episode of Ark Survival Ascended, where today we are going to be getting leveled up enough here so that way we can saddle up our pterodon and go around the map here and hopefully collect some drops and maybe even get some other distant resources that are, you know, like at the top of the mountains over there or maybe even just, you know, go on a little bit of an adventure. Okay, so to get started here, I figured we'd probably just go get leveled up by, you know, hunting some creatures such as these guys. I need to clean out their population anyways. Last time I was on the server, there was like six or seven of them traveling in a pack. And it was just, yeah, a little scary because I thought all of them were going to come after me at once. So, well, bam, that is one of them. Now we get the next one here. It's going to start circling its friend's dead body, I'm pretty sure. I missed. I can stand on this rock. I don't even have to stand on a rock. I just have to get close enough that I can hit it. And wha-bam. Okay, so after harvesting their corpses there, it looks like I need at least one more of them. Or this dodo right here. It should get me leveled up, right? Uh, maybe once I harvest its corpse. Yep, there we go. We should be now level 38. And we should now be able to craft a saddle for a pterodon. Okay, so I just checked. We are high enough level for crafting a saddle, but I am a little short on chitin and chitin, which, yeah, apparently we need that, and I forgot about it. Now, I do have a little bit, but not a whole lot. Also, I keep on forgetting this door is not automatic. This one here is. See? Yeah, see? Automatic. Okay, so to fall the ch solve the ch I can't talk. You guys already know this. So to solve the chitin problem here, I'm going to be just running over across the, I guess, creek here, river, the little gap, and killing these trilobites. So yeah, that should solve the problem there almost immediately. You want to know something I also just realized? The Dilophosaurus has like a hundred chitin in its inventory. I'm not joking either. I just realized that like once I got across because I was like, oh, yeah, I can also get silica pearls and oil from these guys. And I'm like, wait, doesn't the Dilophosaurus have silica pearls in it? And then I was like, oh, yeah, it also has chitin. It's like it's the one thing I never checked. But just in case it, I'm like spacing off and I actually what, come on. This is one thing also about trilobite bodies that is annoying. Sometimes you can't quite hit them, but. Yeah, I'm going to gather this just in case, for some reason, like, I'm wrong and the Dilophosaurus actually doesn't have anything in it. Now, if I'm correct, yep, the Dilophosaurus had enough on him. I knew it. And I only knew it after I went out to go get it. Okay, and then here we go. That there is a Pteranodon saddle. So now we should be able to start taking to the sky. Let me quickly get all this extra stuff I really don't need off of me just because it is extra weight and I don't need it. Um, Yeah, I'll keep the crossbow and all that because I do need something to protect myself with. Throw you in there. Let's grab some food out of here. Let's just grab the cooked meat. And now here we go. Pteranodon, let's quickly hear first. Let's give you one point into... Ooh! Let's give you two points into weight and two points into stamina. Because, yeah, I don't think this is going to end well for us. But, ready? Let's go. Oh, I immediately flew it into the water. That was a... That was a great first test flight, guys. Good thing we landed in the water. But, yay. Yay. Let's do this the right way. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do here is we're going to head over to, I believe, the top of either this mountain or that mountain and get some crystal. Now, maybe they've changed where the crystal nodes spawn, but I'm pretty sure they stood, should, bleh, should still be up here. You want to know what's awesome? I misremembered what was on this mountain. It has metal nodes, not crystal. 
So, I might have to go a little bit further to get crystal. Because I know for a fact I can go a little bit more this way and it's a guaranteed crystal node. Ooh, ooh, wait, I was right. I just didn't get fully to the top of the mountain. I stopped there too soon. This is the mountain I was just stopped at and I'm now at the complete top. And the metal node here is surrounded with crystal. So... I am going to quickly get as much of this as I can. I got to make sure, though, I don't overweigh my Pteranodon. Um, what also would also be a good thing to do is maybe head over there to the island by Red Obelisk. Collect all the Explorer notes on the back of the Pteranodon. So that way the Pteranodon gets a little bit of a XP boost and then come back and give it the Lystro XP boost. And just let it chill. Maybe, a, I don't know. I don't want to risk killing my one Pteranodon, though, trying to fight creatures. Uh, let's not worry about that. I'm going to just get Crystal. Okay, so I got all the Crystal nodes. One last thing here I'm going to do, though, is we're going to grab this Rockwell node. That there should give my Pteranodon... Wow, actually, that gave it three XP. Or ugh, three points of experience. So let's. I'm just going to spend that all on Stamina. Did I just put one of those in Oxygen? No, I'm pretty sure that went to stamina. Yeah, no, that went to stamina. We'll check the tapes, and if I did, I'll have it on screen. <laughs> and I, yeah, I'll label. Okay, so now that I'm at the base with the crystal, what we're going to do here is create... I keep on clicking the cosmetics tab now. I hate that they changed this up as well. Like, I got so used to hitting the eye icon to, like, change out my, like, cosmetics. Now it's like you go over here, and it's this more complicated system now. Like, what was wrong with the last one? But now I'm going to quickly create me a spyglass after that little rant. Uh, I'm going to pull all the resources here. Well, bam Get that crafted, and then I'm going to throw all the extra crystal. And I'll even throw the rare mushrooms. Oh, hold up. Uh, tch -tch -tch. Grab this stuff. The meat can go on the grill. I'll take this all out as well. Take that out as well. And we'll throw this just in here so that way it's preserved. Alrighty guys, so now that we got ourselves a spyglass, we are going to be heading out and we're going to actually be going and looking for some drops. Now I am almost level 40 now. We are level 39, so... What am I do just to boost up my level a bit so that way we can get some higher level drops is actually head down the beach here and we're going to try and grab some explorer notes. Now these are just ones I like can remember off the top of my head. There should be one somewhere around here if I'm correct. It's like the mammoth dossier or the T-Rex dossier. I might be completely wrong on which one it is. But there should be one somewhere up here on this cliff. I'm going to be full honest there. I can't see that one. So I'm going to just go to the ones I know for a fact are going to be there and are easy, easy to find. And they're going to be the ones that actually have structures next to them. And that would be all the ones here on Rockwell Island. So first off here, we're going to go get the one that's at Rockwell Manor. Which that is just the little destroyed structure here at the very top of the, I want to say mountain, mountain. But it's, yeah, it's more of a hill, but there should be an explorer note right here. Boom. That is one of, I think, like five on this island. So that there, ooh, that might, yeah, no, that got me up in level. So we should be even good to go here. Let me, uh, I hit the wrong button there if you guys can't tell. Let me check my level. Yep, we got a level here. And I'm going to put that into health. So that should get me up to 400 health. Um, I think I'm going to just go get the rest of the Explorer Notes. May as well. Because that is that is doing something here and getting us levels. And it is also leveling up my Pterodon extremely fast. So that is what I'm going to keep on doing. Now there should be another one. Somewhere down here by these rocks. If I'm correct. Like, I know there's one down there by the beach, but there should be another one, like, actually up here in these rocks. It's a whole, it's a dossier, I know that. This one down here is a Rockwell note. Where'd the structure go? Oh, there it is. Boom, another Rockwell note. Okay, let's just keep on getting these, and then I'll get back to you guys once I think I got them all. Or at least I got all the ones I could find.
Okay, we just got the four times one as well. So that is giving us a lot more XP. Uh, our Pteranodon is it's getting boosted here heavily. I should start pumping some of these into the weight. Because once I start grabbing uh, drops, that is going to be a lot more weight put on to us. So, need to be careful there. There should be another note right down in here, right? No. It's over more, right? Am I wrong? There should be one, one more down here. I'm going to just keep looking. It should be here somewhere. Um, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Before I pause, it should... Uh, it's coming back to me from when I went and was doing this last episode, last time I was on the island. It should be somewhere in here. Okay, so I got a good chunk of the Explorer notes off this island. At least the ones I could find. I didn't want to spend too much time looking for them, so I really just grabbed all the really easy ones. And if I started having trouble finding one, I moved on to the next. But now, what we're going to do here is actually start looking for some drops. Now, I can't really see any right now. Oh, hold up. Now I see some. There should be what look to be two white ones over here. Eh, those aren't the greatest, but I will take it because I could always break down the stuff in them for resources and stuff. So, let's go get these. Are they on the ground? Yes. This one is on the ground. That one over there looks like it should be landing soon okay let's make this quick because there's raptors nearby like boom go 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 i hear them running at us okay now let's move over to this one hold up let's actually check and see what we got we got two campfires and medjo berry seeds so you know what let's do this because i really don't need this i got four spears though i'll hang on to the spears but if i start getting too much i'll start tossing them I'm going to toss the medjo berry seeds and the campfires there. This club might come in handy just because it is a little bit better of a club. It's definitely better than having a normal club, which is all I can craft. But let's head over here and get this drop. Is it landed yet or is it landing soon? I can't see. I don't see it in the air. But I also don't see it on the ground. Oh, there it is. It just registered in. It's right there. It's almost landed. So we will... We'll just land here and we'll chill and wait for this one to land and then we'll start looking for more alrighty so we got us some ascendant cloth pants hide fiber cooked meat and a wall torch uh, do I want to take the wall torch yeah just because it is a little bit more of an expensive structure out of here and I could use it to help light up my uh my house at night so now let's uh Let's quickly go and look for some other drops, but as well, what I'm going to do here, let's equip, bleh, let's equip the cloth pants, throw those out, and yeah. Now, I have gotten three levels I have not spent yet from those uh, explorer notes off of that island by the red ob, so what I think I'm going to do with these personally is probably just start putting them into the fortitude. And two more into health. Because I'd like to get up to 500 health. Before, like, before I hit level 50. And then I'm going to start putting more into weight. Okay. So we got a blue drop up here. But we are also starting to get deeper into the island. And over to what is called the harder side. So we do need to be careful. Because we don't want to get jumped by a pack of raptors. Or even forbid one of the modded creatures I have on the map. Because, like, watch, I'll get jumped by a... Well, technically, a Serato isn't modded anymore. A Serato is an actual official creature now for Ark. Because they spawn on every map. Uh, but, yeah, like, watch me get jumped by one of my modded creatures. But I don't think we are. Because, yeah. Oh, what was that? I heard a sound. You hear that, right? It's something big. I hear the stomping. I don't want to find out what that is. Hear it? Oh, it's over. Th it's over here. It's like below me. Oh, it's a Brachiosaurus. So yeah, it was a modded creature, but luckily it is a hell. It's a herbivore, so it won't generally attack us until we make it mad. 
Okay, so we got one more drop here in front of me. It's a green drop, but it's right on the edge of the swamp and on the forest. So it's like right in the battle. Oh no, that's a rhino nanthia. Oh no. Oh no. Where? Yeah, let's uh let's take a wide berth around that. That's a rhino nanthia down there. Okay, that's not the best thing in the world to run into. Cause that could mess me up. Okay, um what do our chances of getting this green drop look? Um I don't know, because there's a big crocodile, then there's another big crocodile, then there's another big crocodile, and then there's several big snakes. If I'm... You know what? We're gonna need a land somewhere. <laughs> to think this out anyways. No, land on the rock, land on the rock, land on the rock. Things have a harder time getting you on the rock. Alright, Pterodon, we are not gonna argue on this. Land, thank you. Now, okay, those Fiomi are jumping one of the snakes right now. Maybe if... Is that a baby cockatrice? It is! Hold up, hold up. Where is he? There. That's a baby cock... Oh, no, that's a parrot! Why does it look exactly like a cockatrice? Hold up, and I'll show you guys what a cockatrice is. Uh, I did see one earlier. It's another modded creature. They are kind of like lizard chickens. Uh, I don't see where it went. There was one over there getting chased by a dinosuchus. But it might have gotten away. Huh. I might have been wrong. But I say it's pretty safe right now to grab this drop. So let's just go for it. Go! Quick, 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 quick. Fly! Oh, we are so overweight. Dang. It's all the wood structures. Okay. Let's quickly toss all of these. But it does look like that was actually kind of worth it. Because we got a Mastercraft Ichthyosaurus saddle. A ma uh, bleh, an Ascendant Packy saddle blueprint. And it is not actually that expensive for a Packy saddle. I mean, this thing could have asked for 5000 Hide. I've had them do that before. And then we got us some hide boots to put on. Nice. So we got ourselves a nice bit of a equipment upgrade here at least. Um, do I see any more drops in between me and home? Yes, I do. So that drop there is probably gonna be our last one here for today. Okay, so now that I've gotten closer to this drop, it appears to be a white one. And it is in thick canopy. Oh, this is scary because the raptors could roll up on me. Okay, we're fine. But yeah, originally I thought this was a blue drop. That's why I wanted to... Oh, that's an Ascendant Carbonara saddle. Let's take it. All right, let's not, let's not complain. Let's not complain. We got at least something good out of it. All right. Now, we did get some junk. Um, I don't need you. Uh, yeah, I don't need you. Now, we'll hang on to the rest of this, but I think that there was eh, a decent loot run for what we were able to do today. So, if you guys have found yourself uh, at any point today enjoying this episode, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And as well, please do share this video with your friends and family because it does really help out me and the algorithm. And yeah, anyways... This has been Gunshy Mori, signing out. Peace.